Cam, just like your first tweet when you joined the Yankees, you know what time it is? It's showtime. Showtime, baby. That's it. It's right, time let's... to go. <laughs> let's do it. First one. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. World Series 2017. Got an opportunity to get America tacos. So, you know, uh, who better to do it than Oprah? You know, you get a taco, you get a taco. <laughs> Everybody gets a taco. So that's a good one right there. How crazy is that? You stole a base and literally fed probably millions of people across the United States. That's so unique, so special. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that was the coolest thing for me, uh, to have an opportunity to not only um, you know feed America, but I really had like the homeless on my mind at the time. What an opportunity to get those guys a free meal, to get you know all our homeless you know fed a across America. So for me, it was cool. A lot of people still acknowledge that, stolen base, but for me, I just thought it was a great opportunity to, to feed our homeless. You hate to see anybody go without a meal, so uh, it was extra special for me yeah, from, from, from that standpoint. Now you, a lot of people know you as a man who likes to give back. And you do that oh, yeah. very, very often. You did that today and you even did that right before you made your debut in Pinstripes in Harlem. Yeah, this is big to me. My Maybe Mission Foundation, that's what we do. You know, our goal is to enrich our, our inner city youth. You know, all kids, you know, when it comes to en enriching children, but especially, you know, the kids who don't have as much, who aren't as, you know, lucky to be given opportunities to, to experience things. So, you know, this picture right here is a lot, man. You know, you can you can see the, the gratitude in the kids' face, you know, and that's what it's about, man. Using this platform to, to uplift and, and to enrich our kids and uh, continue to give them hope and allow them to know that that, you know, dreams do come true. Mm -hmm. so. Great things happen to great people. Dreams do come true, yeah. like you said. This is a good one right man. here. World Series ring. You got the bling, baby. Yeah, finally, <laughs> man. You know, 12 years of doing it. You know, having the opportunity to, to play for a lot of good teams and a lot of teams that, you know, we're re rebuilding. And here you go right here. It gets no better than this right here, baby. World Series. Hopefully I can get my second one this year. That's the goal. Look at that. That's motivation right there. Oh, so, man. You got me ready to go for tonight and, and the rest of the year, man. We got to get another one. Let's do it. Chills just looking oh, at this, man. Chills. chills. Go, goosebumps right now <laughs> as we speak. This is what it's about right here, bringing that, bringing that chip back. And next one, you got to celebrate <laughs> while you're in the big leagues, right? 30th birthday party, here you yeah, are. Look at that. <laughs> oh, they had a kick out of that. I think it took me three days to get the baby powder out of my nostrils. And <laughs> those are some good teammates. They really enjoyed it. You can see that dirty 30, man. You had to get dirty, right? Dude, That's yes, what it's all sir. about. I swallowed so much baby powder that day, man. That was a rough one. Might actually still yeah, have some in you right now. <laughs> Even though you're over 30, and like we said before, yeah. celebrating your 10th year oh, in the yeah. big leagues, man, you show everybody how it gets done and still, Still in great shape, man. Look at you, man. You're making me feel good. This is, this is what it's about, man. Every day is like your last, man. Whether you're training, whether you're playing, you know, you got to treat every moment, every day, like this may be the last moment you have on this earth. So, you know, all you see right there is dedication, man. I, I love what I do. You don't stick around as long as I have by just going through the motions. You know, it takes some sacrifice and some hard work. And I enjoy doing this. I miss the chin strap, though. But, you know, we got, we got rules here, so. The chin strap and like you said before, the dress. Oh yeah. Maybe oh, yeah. one day I'll come one back. One day we might bring the dress back. One day when I move away to Jamaica and disappear, <laughs> we might bring it back. Next one, baseball has brought you to so many crazy different places and it even got you on Jeopardy. Yeah, this might be one of the coolest ones, man. I had a ton of tweets. I might've had a hundred tweets come in about, dude, you finally made it. Not that I played for eight plus years at the time and not you made it well, well, you made it on jeopardy you know once you make it on jeopardy it's official man all my friends in high school all my ex-classmates and family they got a good kick out of this i got a kick out of this one too that's crazy yeah that's got to be like somewhere in the top oh, 10 come 15 on. 20 top, moments top, of the career top right three for me right now i mean come on that show's been around forever man so and i made it you know jeopardy me drew storm and, and kyle ripkin with that your character comes from your mom, a strong, strong woman. Facts. And you really do take after, and it's amazing what you've been able to do for everybody, but. This picture says it all. She's the backbone of our family. She's uh, been a, a trooper through through all of this stuff, uh, continue to smile, continue to flex. She stays flexing, stays positive, and I couldn't be more thankful for for uh, the mother that I was given, you know, in this lifetime, and I, I went and traded for, for the world, and. She is definitely why I go out and do, do do this, you know, and play as hard as as hard as I do. I definitely, you know, dedicated this season to her, man, and just giving it my all every day because I know she's fighting. And uh, 
you know, there's no excuses for us not to fight, mm -hmm. you know, and when you see people that you love going through some, uh, you know, serious, serious times, and she keeps me going, that's my motivation right there. Nene Strong. Nene Strong indeed. Rock. She's the rock. <laughs> well, we wish her the best, and she definitely does have a great support system yeah. and just the way that she did for you you're doing for that's her right it. now that's so it. gotta give back man yep. i wouldn't be here if it weren't for that lady right there man she's a big reason why i am you know the man i am today and uh you know i carry myself with the humility that i do and she's special man you got me choking you got me got me choking up right now that's that's my that's my rock right there my homie does she call you slim <laughs> nah nah she just calls me baby but uh, my, all my friends back at home, man, since I was growing up. You know, my dad's 6'5", big dude, still slim in good shape. So I was a little slim and it just kind of stuck with me growing up. And then Dick Enberg, when I was out in San Diego, gave me the nickname <laughs> Spider Mave and Daddy Long Leg. So that's why you see the, the spotty shoes. That's a sick picture, bro. Slim. I'm always going to be slim. I got it tatted. Pops. The fit that day too was just crazy. fire. Look at yeah. those. Shout yeah. out to Roly uh, Nomad Customs, Roly Padron, kill the spikes. This is amazing, man. When I saw this video, and I'm sure everybody at home, when yeah, they yeah. saw this, seeing your daughter just see you on TV oh, and, yeah. and know, how this is so special. This is what it's all about, man. She's full of personality. She asks me every day if I'm going to work to play on my friend. <laughs> so I think that's the cutest thing because, you know, at the end of the day, this is a kid's game. And here my little girl is asking me if I had fun playing on my friends today. And every day she tells me have fun out there. So <laughs> this video does my heart something special. And you can see the intensity, man. She's locked in. She loves the game. So she might be my best athlete, too, at all three. No. Sorry, right, boys. She loves your baseball cards too, yep. so maybe we'll see her on one one day. Yep. <laughs> see, that's what people don't get. You know, they, they think the life is glitz and glam, but this is what you miss, man. You know, the you know, kids at home missing you, and uh, but again, they know what's up. They know who the best dad in the world is, so uh, I'm good with that. So you mentioned your kids. Here you go, your son right here, oh, yeah. man. He's showing his skills. He got, he has some in you, huh? He's got some talent, man. He loves the game. You can see he's got that, that maiden body. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he loves the game, man. You can see the energy right there, man. He loves to play, he loves to compete. He's a true competitor. It's gonna be fun watching him continue to grow and progress and, and to see what he, he wants to do. Have you taught him how to blow a bubble like this just yet? He's good. I'm working on my Maxwell. He is like ready to blow a bubble. So we gotta get him right. Bubbles and tying shoes. We're working on that right now, but you gotta get you gotta have a double bubble in you, man. Get you ready. All right, and here you go. With the legend Ichiro right here in Easily Austin, too. one of my favorite, favorite, favorite moments right here. The caption was great. Come on, man. The, the new Rush Hour, the new Chris <laughs> Tucker and new, and new Jackie Chan. Rush Hour 4 coming soon. My man Ichi, the dude's a machine. What a true professional, man. And like I said, this photo cracks me up. This lets you know all you need to know about Ichi, man. Great personality. <laughs> Look, batting gloves on, ready to go. He's the man, bro. Living legend right there. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, you know, thankful to have the opportunity to share a locker room with that guy. He's. He's special, truly special. Another legend that you saw. Can we get him a tumbo hey, finger wag? Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, look how big he is. He makes me look little. Yeah, he's huge, and you're known for having like long arms, exactly, long legs. <laughs> that was a cool moment. We we hit a lot of those Atlanta Hawks games. My, my wife and I. We find our way down there a lot, and you always you're always running to somebody when you're down there. And that's what you see right there, Matumbo just showing some love. So that was a cool moment too. I watched him block a lot of shots coming <laughs> up, so it was cool. And here's the last one right here with Brett Gardner. Get an Instagram guardy. I'm sure a lot of the Yankees fans would love to see him on there too, right? Uh, yeah, we'll we love a lot of things, but a lot of things will never happen, right? I think this one is like winning the lottery. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, when, when the jackpot's like a hundred and. 90 something million and you got that one in a billion this is this is what it's like getting guardian <laughs> on, on social media i don't think it's gonna happen but there's always a chance man there's always a small small chance probably when he's done <laughs> when you know when he's out of the the spotlight but i still don't see it happening no, no. guardian's not coming to the party <laughs> <laughs> so we see all these posts that you have whether it's maven mission yeah or just having fun blowing bubbles in the dugout whatever it may be with your family what would you say is your favorite part about Instagram and social media in general. Making fans laugh. It's fun, man. It's just fun keeping that interaction with the fans. And you know, it's one thing to come out here for the games, but it's just another way for the fans to feel like they can interact with you. So mm -hmm. I think it's uh, extremely cool. I think it's extremely important to an extent. But I, I enjoy, you know, having that communication, that interaction. It's cool, man. It makes for a lot of good, a lot of good moments. And it's out there now. So like I say, once it's on the internet, it's out there. So we uh, we making good moments and, and putting some smiles on people's faces. So that's what it's about. Now is the time for the plug. 
Mm-hmm. Why should people follow you and what do you have to offer? I'm me. You know, you're going to get a guy smiling every day, excited, genuine. I love what I do. This is a, you know, a dream come true for me. So, you know, you're following a guy with a tremendous amount of gratitude and passion for what he, for what he does. And, um, you know, you get to see the smile every day. So why not follow me? Can't go wrong with that. Let's go. Maybenmission.com. Check it out.